Hello class, this is section 3.2 and we are going to discuss Fourier's theorem. Fourier's theorem deals with piecewise smooth functions on minus L to L or some interval and it tells you that the Fourier series converges. So again, the Fourier series is a way to write down a function in terms of sine and cosine functions of a particular form. Now, we have to be precise as to what it means to have a Fourier series converge to a function. So here's the thing. Um, our function fx is defined from minus l to l, but obviously our cosine and sine functions are periodic and defined across the whole real line. And in fact, we say that the Fourier series converges to a periodic extension of fx. Now, let us discuss a little bit what that means. That simply means that the Fourier series converges to a function that's periodic, but a periodic function that starts out with fx. So fx is defined, say, um, as minus l to l, something like that. It just means that um, you, it just keeps repeating that same pattern over and over again. Starting from our original fx and minus l to l, we just repeat that pattern over and over again to get a periodic function. And this, that is what it means to say that we have a periodic extension. And one other thing that the Fourier series does, according to Fourier's theorem, is that it adjusts all the jump discontinuities so that it's, everything meets halfway. So if we have a, a jump discontinuity that goes from here to here, it, it always in the jump discontinuity point, it always is halfway from the left side limit and the right side limit. This is perhaps clearer if we can work out a few examples and see the pictures of the graphs. Oh, one other thing I forgot. It's usual mathematical convention to write down a hat here to denote the Fourier series of a function f. I don't even think the book uses it, but I might use it from time to time. So that's what a hat means. A hat means the Fourier series of that function. As a simple example, uh, let's try to answer this question. If fx equals x on minus l to l, what does its Fourier series look like? So we start out with the function, graphing the function, so minus l to l, and it's a straight line, obviously. So that's what fx looks like on minus l to l. So remember that what we get is a periodic extension. So here is l, and we want to figure out where this is 3l, and then 5l after that, and opposite direction, there's going to be a minus 3l over here. So we just get a periodic function starting out with this fx equals x, so it all looks the same in every each of these segments. So l to 3l looks like that, 3l to 5l looks like that, and so on. Right, so this is what it means to get a periodic extension. But the second part of Fourier's theorem says that at the job discontinuities, we the function sort of meets halfway. And we can see that there are going to be jump discontinuities here at um, 3L, L, minus L, and 3L. So for those, for those points, we have to meet halfway. So it has a function here, a point here, a point here, a point here, and so on. 